Good morning, Grace Church. It is the 17th Sunday after Pentecost, and it is also the Sunday closest to the Feast of St. Michael and All Angels. Once again, welcome to our service of prayer, scripture, and music. Today, we welcome Emma Wilburn as our lector. As always, if anyone would like to lecture or sing or participate in any way in an upcoming service, please let us know. We are always looking for volunteers. Good morning, Emma. It's so nice to have you with us today. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm doing well. I'm back at college and I'm studying for my first set of finals, but I'm enjoying being back. Finals already and it's only September still. Good yep. Lord. Well, we'll be keeping you in our prayers. Are we ready? Let's begin. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be God's kingdom now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit. That we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Everlasting God, you have ordained and constituted in a wonderful order the ministries of angels and mortals. Mercifully grant that, as your holy angels always serve and worship you in heaven, so by your appointment they may help and defend us here on earth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from Genesis, chapter 28, verses 10 through 17. Jacob left Beersheba and went towards Haran. He came to a certain place and stayed there for the night because the sun had set. Taking one of the stones of that place, he put it under his head and lay down in that place. And he dreamed that there was a ladder set up on the earth, the top of it reaching to heaven. And the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. And the Lord stood beside him and said, I am the Lord, the God of Abraham, your father, and the God of Isaac. The land on which you lie, I will give to you and to your offspring. And your offspring shall be like the dust of the earth, and you shall spread abroad to the west and to the east, and to the north and to the south. And all the families of the earth shall be blessed in you and in your offspring. Know that I am with you and will keep you wherever you go and will bring you back to this land. For I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. Then Jacob woke from his sleep and said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I did not know it. And he was afraid and said, How awesome is this place! This is none other than the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, Lord Christ. When Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him, he said of him, here is truly an Israelite in whom there is no deceit. Nathanael asked him, where did you get to know me? Jesus answered, I saw you under the fig tree before Philip called you. Nathanael replied, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. Jesus answered, do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than these. And he said to him, very truly, I tell you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. <laughs> 